What's up guys, Wade here, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to install the Android operating system onto your iPhone 3G. So first off, you're going to want to make sure your iPhone is running 3.1.2 or earlier. Um, this won't work for firmwares 3.1.3 or 4.0. Also, make sure your iPhone is jailbroken with either Pwnage Tool, Red Snow, or Black Rain. Um, it won't work with the new Spirit jailbreak that was just released. Finally, you're going to want to make sure that you have OpenSSH installed onto your device. Um, package is available in Cydia to download if you do not have it already. So after your iPhone is all set up with that, you can go ahead to your computer and you're going to want to open up your SSH program that you use. Um, I'll be using CyberDuck. I'll have a download link in the video description if you'd like to download that. Um, if you're not sure about SSH, just Google it or search on YouTube. There's a whole bunch of videos on how to SSH into your iPhone. So once it's all connected, you're going to want to go ahead to the private folder, which is in the root directory, and you're going to want to go to the folder titled VAR, open that up, and you're going to want to download the folder called Prebuilt. Um, I'll have a link to that also in the video description. It'll have a few files, and what you're going to want to do is just drag those files right into the Ver folder onto your iPhone. It'll take about 15 minutes to download all those back into your iPhone. Um, and then once that's all complete, you can go ahead and just quit CyberDuck for right now. Um, you won't be needing it again. So once the files are all into your iPhone, you're going to want to open up the terminal application. And you're going to want to type in a couple commands here. First off, you're going to want to type in SSH then the space key, and then root, R-O-O-T, and then the at sign, and you're going to want to type in your iPhone's IP address. And then you can go ahead and hit enter, and you'll be prompted for a password. The password is going to be Alpine, A-L-P-A-L-P-I-N-E. Oops. All right, and it should say iPhone colon and a squiggly line root number. Just leave that as it is. Um, you don't need to type anything else. Don't close the terminal application. Don't quit it. Don't do anything. Just leave it open for right now. Um, so once you have that typed in, you're going to want to download the iPhone Droid 4 program. Um, I'll have a link to that also in the video description if you need to download it should open it up and it should look something like this. You have three options. First off, you're going to want to hit run. Make sure your iPhone is connected to your computer and go ahead and type in your iPhone's IP address one more time and click next. And a big green terminal screen should open up and uh, should say connecting and iPhone Droid will go through the 13 steps that it takes to copy and install and download and upload and all that to your iPhone um, in order to install the Android OS to your device. Alright, so once iPhone Droid has gone through its steps, you should get a little pop-up window that looks like this. It'll say, please put the iPhone in scroll mode. Um, all you're going to need to do is hold down the home button and power button for about 20 seconds. It will turn the device off. It will turn back on once again. And you'll notice it'll be put into DFU mode. It'll flash and it will start up in scroll mode. Um, if iTunes pops up, just go ahead and quit it. And you'll notice that iPhone Droid is loading some more steps. This time it's loading iDroid onto your device. Just go ahead and leave it as it is right now and let it do its steps. You'll also notice that your iPhone has some white text scrolling on it. Um, just go ahead and leave it alone for right now. Um, it'll be done in just a few minutes. And uh, come back to it when it's done. So once that's all done, um, your iPhone should look like this with Open iBoot installed and the ability to choose between the iPhone or Android OS. Um, all you have to do is use the sleep wake button to move around and select the different um, 
operating systems that you want to choose from and uh, when you land it on Android just go ahead and hit the home button to select it and once again you'll see some white text start to scroll down your iPhone screen um, this means it's working just go ahead and leave it alone for a few minutes and it will load up Android so once all the white text has gone away from your iPhone screen um, you should have noticed that the Android boot logo start up and the first screen that you should see is something like this with a little pop up that says sorry this application messaging couldn't come up just go ahead and force close it and uh, you'll see the sim network unlock pin just go ahead and dismiss that um, you don't need to type in anything there and uh, there you go now have Android running on your device to unlock it just pull down the home button and it will unlock to the Android home screen and notice a few applications here on the bottom and you can press the little gray icon there and it'll show up some more applications. Um, so just a few things here. Obviously this is not the complete Android operating system. Um, it does have some limitations um, but as this project progresses it'll be updated with some more features and be a lot faster and more stable. Um, right now you guys are more than welcome to play around with it and uh, see what you can do. Um, you can keep up with all the updates about this project on the Linux iPhone blog. I'll have a link to them in the video description as well. Um, and as always, if you guys have any questions, um, feel free to post a comment or send me a message, and I will do my best to try and help you out. And I will see you in the next video.